Hey guys, not Wayne here. We're gonna try this for about the fifth time. Never give up, never surrender. So, here we go. I want to explain to y'all what witchcraft is to me. If someone was to ask me, well, what is it? Then this is how I would basically break it down to them so they could kind of more or less get a basic understanding without really scaring them too much. Huh. Okay, so if we bring it, we can break it down so much as to think of it as like when we go to school. If we go to school, we've got all these subjects, we've got our core classes we have to learn. Okay, we do have our little extracurricular activities, yes, but we have our core classes we must learn. So, if we break it down in our core classes, we have our English, our math, our science, our history, you know, and our art classes, we also maybe have wood shop and things like that, depending on what we do within our own craft. You know, there may be home economics in there. So we can think of it as that. So let's say we go into English. Our English, you know, we need to know how to write things down and to word it to get our desired outcome. Because we have to be very specific with how we word our spells, how we word our spells of intention, how we need to make sure we get the things that we desire or that we want. So we have to make sure to word it correctly or it could yield some not so cool results. It's happened. It happens to everybody. So the next one would be math. Okay, so we can think about math as say we want to make kiffy. Well, kiffy we all know takes time to make. Okay. It takes quite a while, and if we need by a certain date, you know, each step requires a certain amount of time. We know we need it by this date over here. Well, if we know each step and how long it takes to do each step, we know when to have it done by that desired date. Same thing if, you know, we're doing a spell and we are working the spell and working the spell and working the spell and working the spell because we want it to last let's say two months so we need to know what the supplies we need how much of it and how long it's going to run for how long per day it needs to run for so our math is also involved within that as well and also knowing <coughs> excuse me and also knowing how much product we need to essentially come up with the desired outcome as well so the next thing we could think of is art. So our art class could fall within kind of the extracurricular activities. So if we don't have a representation of our god and goddess, you know, if we use that within our own craft, you know, we can come up with something. We can make a painting. We can make a clay model. You know, that's there's art involved within that. And also you know, when it comes to doing sigils and sigil magic, there's, again, art. You know, it takes a lot of time and energy to put into that to create a desired outcome. You know, we can also think of it in the aspect of creativity as well, because it is witchcraft after all, and we should be crafty. That is what we are. That is what we do. We are crafty people. And we can take things that normally people don't think of and turn it into something different you know let's look at napkins for instance we can turn them into voodoo dolls or puppets we can take oils and add things to them and create you know use it to help us create a desired outcome so we could use sigils in that as well as far as the art and the creativity part of it goes Okay, we have our science. Our science comes in with the astrology charts and the following of the moon. And if we use certain times of the day and week and month and everything else, if we are those witches that sit there and use those correspondences within our craft, you know, our color correspondences and, you know, the different vibrations of herbs and things to get a desired outcome that we would like to have also working with the energies both below and above us you know the energies that everybody has around us and 
you know, what we can pull from crystals and different minerals and herbs and spices and even colors and, you know, the spirits around us to create and to help us within our craft. The history aspect of it, we think about that as well. We can think of the history when it comes to learning about the pantheons and our gods and goddesses and doing our research into that. You're essentially be learning history. You know, you want to learn about your lineage when it comes to learning about yourself and maybe say there was witches in your family gone past and you want to learn about that. Well, there you go into the new year history. If you want to learn about certain magics and where it originates from, you know, like the voodoo tradition or the hoodoo traditions or, you know, anything of that nature, you're going to read about it and you're going to learn the history behind it. So if we want to think about the home economics part of it, you know, if the, the, the kitchen witches who bake and the witches who make their own clothing and all of that, that's where the home economics that could be considered an extracurricular class. If we think about the art was an extracurricular class, you know. If we go outside into nature, you know, that could be kind of considered in a way, you know, the PE, the outdoors activities when we are doing our rituals and things outside. You know, collecting certain herbs and, and collecting waters and minerals and stones and just different things from around us. If we go outside and collect those items, that could be considered like, you know, the PE of schooling. So, and then, you know, touching back on the creativity part of it again, you know, all of us as witches are crafty, we have that creative side to us. It may be prominent in different ways, but essentially if you're taking what I call a multifaceted spell, which is most of your spell works anyways, you know, you're creating a sigil and then you're taking that sigil and you're using it and then you're doing a candle and then you're burning the candle down and maybe you're putting it in a gree gree bag to carry with you, you know, Essentially, that is a multifaceted spell. You're doing different things to create one outcome. So the more time you put into it and the more time you concentrate and you focus on it, the better outcome you will have. You know, not to say that it's going to be the right outcome every time because the universe pretty much grants you what you need at the time. So... My dog wants in my lap, poor thing. This is Mocha Pooch. Quit licking me. Tweet it, I'm talking. So, I hope everybody enjoyed this video. If you liked it, you can give it a thumbs up. You can leave comments down in the comments below, but please keep them nice and clean and no arguing, people. I don't like that, and I will delete it. So, there's that. Um... You know, viewpoints are welcome. I, I enjoy, you know, constructive criticism within my comments, you know, because everybody can learn from it. You know, nobody's perfect, and nobody will ever be perfect. You know, um, if it's something that'll help me better myself, then of course, you know, it's not going to offend me none. But just keep it clean, keep it nice, and... Until next time, many blessings.